Hello, hello, hello guys. This is your girl Najwa. Welcome back to my channel. So today I want to do a huge favor and show you how I make like a very staple of my paleo diet. For those of you who don't know, I have lost about 35 pounds, 35 or 40 pounds, which is about, I think between 18 and 20 kilograms. Don't quote me on that. Um, on the paleo since September. So five months and I've cheated a whole, 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 whole lot and I'll still be losing weight throughout the week because I snapped back to paleo. So paleo, I won't go deeply into it, just go and research online what it is, but it's basically where you cut out carbohydrates and you fill your plate half up with protein, healthy protein, half up with fruit and vegetables, and you are only allowed a golf ball size of fat each meal. Now, um, that fat can be avocado oil, it can be olive oil, it can be coconut oil, but you really can't veer outside of those types of fats um, because you only want to concentrate on healthy fats. So basically, this recipe, let me grab my phone. So this recipe calls for five large eggs. Now in this bowl, I've basically just mixed all the, the liquidy ingredients, except for here. Here you have the lemon zest and the lemon, um, but I basically put all the liquidy ingredients in there. Um, so it calls for five large eggs, um, a half a cup of coconut oil. I did not have enough coconut oil, so I used half a cup of olive oil instead. That's, that gives it its greenish color here. And it, you will not notice any type of difference. I mean, and if, if, if anything, it actually might be a little bit richer. I feel like when I cook it with olive oil, it's a little bit richer. And you know what, guys? This is like my food prep for the week. And you know that it's good when my husband eats it. Because my husband basically claims that this food is bird food, right? <laughs> like anything remotely healthy diet food, he just already classifies it as rabbit food but um it's gotten my sister interested it's gotten my mom interested my best friend who is um um she's mostly vegan like, like sometimes she's vegetarian i don't know but even she has cooked and she's a she's a pastry chef so she's cooked with paleo sort of um principles but not necessarily just calling it paleo um, like I said, people like Kylie Jenner, Matthew McConaughey, a lot of people, Gwyneth Paltrow, a lot of people follow Paleo Diet to keep slim. I have much more I have further to go, um, but it's, it's not weight that's coming back. It's not like anything gimmicky or anything. It's really a lifestyle choice. So if any of you guys are out there trying to lose weight, I really recommend this to you. And there's lots of great recipes on here on the internet. So I'm going to share this recipe with you and you can also... Um, you can check out other ones as I post more videos like this. So next we have a teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. So again, that's in there. Now, the recipe called for three-fourths cups of coconut flour. And this is the only thing. I am not necessarily with the coconut flour. I, I mean, ugh, yeah, it just has this little taste to it. And it's just like, ugh. So usually I don't use coconut flour. I sub it for um, almond flour. Now, you, like, I'm, I'm not going to lie, paleo can be expensive because basically this is, this is not flour. <laughs> this is some grinded up nuts. So, I mean, it can get expensive, but your body will thank you. I mean, I've told you guys about my struggle with fibroids and it even helps with my fibroids. Like, I have less pains during my menstrual cycle. I just feel like way more energetic. Um, my mind feels clearer. Like, it's really great. So, this is basically a bowl of nuts, of <laughs> grounded up nuts. And you will do much easier finding almond powder usually than finding almond flour. And it's usually a little bit cheaper. So, I would, my recommendation to you guys is do not break your back trying to find almond flour. You can literally just use almond powder and that's what this is. If you want it to be really, really smooth, you know, you can sift it. This one, I, I, I prefer this to be more like a, a breakfast loaf, like a bread almost, like a breakfast loaf slash cake versus really, really like a cake cake. Um, 
but uh, so I don't sift it or anything. I want it to be kind of crumbly, almost like a crumble. But like I said, my husband has approved this. He has okayed this. So it's definitely, definitely good. Now, next you have some, um, so it, the, the recipe calls for a cup of tapioca flour. Now I did not have tapioca flour on me, but I did have potatoes, I'm um, sorry, not tapioca, well it says tapioca flour, but it really means tapioca starch. Tapioca flour, tapioca starch, those are usually intermittent and people are usually, they mean tapioca starch. Um, but I didn't have tapioca starch, I had potato starch. And basically it's, it comes out to be the same thing, it just makes it a little bit smoother. Uh, <laughs> so even though I'm veering off the recipe a little bit, it ain't my fault, did I do that? You guys remember that song? I don't know if that's Master P or I don't know. I have like lemon guts on my hand. Okay, anyway, so the next thing that you have is a teaspoon of baking powder, a teaspoon of sea salt, and a teaspoon of baking soda. Now, I don't remember what is what, so don't ask me. I think that this one, I think that this one is salt. I think that this one is baking powder. And I think this one is baking soda. Booyah! Okay, so next you have two tablespoons of lemon zest. So I put my lemon zest and lemon juice in the same thing. You also need one tablespoon of lemon juice. Uh oh, I think I put too much lemon juice in here. Let me just pull some of this out. I thought that it said two tablespoons of lemon zest and one ta and two tablespoons of lemon juice. So let me just adjust this real quick. Okay, so that is probably closer to the uh, closer. It's probably closer. <laughs> This is probably closer to the quantity, but I'm not completely sure, but you know, it's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's still gonna be delicious. So, um, here you have one cup. Now, the, the, the recipe calls for fresh um, blueberries, but I usually don't buy just blueberries. I usually buy a frozen mix of like just a bunch of berries. So you have here a frozen mix of a bunch of berries, and what I did was I took a, a spoonful, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't have to be really specific, but a spoonful of your starch. So if that is potato starch or tapioca starch, um, you can also use arrowroot starch. Uh, what else is there? You can use sweet potato starch. You cannot use corn starch, because um, corn starch has more carbs. Um, but I usually just put that in, I got this, I don't know if I got this from this recipe or another one, but I just put a spoonful and I mix it into the frozen um, fruit while it sort of defrosts a little bit. And what that does is it just kind of like, it gives it this really good consistency inside of the cake where it's not too mushy and it can kind of stand on its own, but at the same time it's also soft and tender. So that's a really good thing. Now, let's get started and mix these ingredients up. So, um, so it says, add all the ingredients for the bread except for the blueberry into a blender and blend until combined. The batter will be thick, so you may need to stop the blender to scrape the sides a couple of times. Place blueberries in a bowl or a measuring cup and toss with, okay, so they tell you to toss with two cups, of, two table, teaspoons of coconut flour. So, um, I'm not gonna do any of this. <laughs> I'm such a rebel, but you really don't need to. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put all of my dry ingredients in one bowl, just the way you saw your grandma do it. And you know what, guys, I wanted to talk to you a little bit today about some motivational things because we live in a very hard, negative world at times, right? And you have to be able to keep your bearings in this negative, jealous, insecure world that we live in. So baking is one of the great ways that I can sort of just stop, reflect, um, think about my, my week. You know, we're at Friday, at least when I'm filming this video, we're at Friday. And you can think about your week ahead. Um, and you know, if you really can avoid it, 
when you do do your baking or your cooking, don't put any music on. Don't put any music on. Don't have the TV on. Just really put yourself into this environment that our ancestors literally just did the same thing, sifting stuff and mixing stuff. It's beautiful. So I'm going to put this baby in here. Oh, yeah. And um, don't let the haters get you down. You know, oftentimes when you take on a new venture or you take on a new career or a new project or um, really it could be anything. You meet a new person who really invigorates you or you find a new style that really, really excites you. Um, there can be people out there who really hate that. Which, you know, I don't, I don't know why we live in such a hateful world. Um, but if you look at the Bible, since the times of Jesus, there have been hateful, trolling, insecure, jealous ass individuals. And um, girlfriend, man friend, whoever's out there listening, you are better than that. Don't let them get you down. Don't let them get you down because you know what? Most of the time, that stuff comes from a place of insecurity. And so what Jesus says about loving your neighbor, it couldn't be more true. I'm sorry, loving your enemy. And it is one of the hardest, hardest things to do. You know, I had someone come on my Harry and Meghan videos the other day, and he was saying, you know, you... He sounded like he was from Sussex Squad, but he was, I guess, disappointed in some of my viewpoints. Um, basically not wanting to necessarily antagonize too much uh, Charles, William, and Kate. And the way I see it is, if I were to just sit here and trash mouth Charles, William, and Kate, that would make me no better, you know? So what Jesus says about loving your enemy it is easier said than done, my friend. Guys, I am so sorry. I thought I was filming and I wasn't. Lord have mercy. So whatever you missed, um, basically a live stream is coming. I'm just doing like a discovery phase for Harry and Meghan. And um, I have basically just uh, whipped up sort of my wet and dry ingredients and then I uh, folded my um uh berries into here and then i have just this little loaf pan that i'm going to use and i've just lined it with parchment paper so let's go so i'm just gonna pour this baby in here oh, this looks really really good and i have preheated my oven to 180 degrees celsius or 300 and 50 degrees Fahrenheit and we are gonna put this baby in here for hold on I will tell you exactly how long for 40 minutes and then we're gonna let it cool for 40 minutes so I'm gonna go away um, let's go ahead and put this baby in the oven Okay guys, I'm going to go away and we're going to come back in a bit, but remember what I said about those people who try to get you down. Do not let them get you down. Continue on with your project, with your career, with your love interest, uh, with your faith path. Don't let those people get you down and do what Jesus said, love your enemies, because most likely the reason that they persecute you is because they have some sort of insecurity, um, jealousy, pain within themselves. So have compassion for them. It ain't easy, but I'll see you guys in about an hour and a half. Okay. Hey guys, so I have taken my loaf out of the oven. I cooked it for an additional 20 or 30 minutes. 
Um, I believe since I used the olive oil, it was a little bit richer, so it required me to cook it a bit more. And if you're wondering why it's all slender, it's because I cut the sides off and ate them before I could even tell you what the results are because it was that good. It was mwah. So yeah, generally I will make a loaf like this and I will just munch on it throughout the week or a couple of weeks even. Sometimes you can freeze it and it'll be just perfectly fine. Um, I did not make the glaze, like I said, but it's in the description, the recipe is in the description. Guys, let me know what you think of this, and I will see you in my next video. Please be sure to click the like and subscribe button if you haven't already. Click the bell so you know whenever I post a video. I'll see you the next time. Okay, bye.